Good afternoon, guys. Uh, it is um, Friday the 10th. It's about 3.10. And uh, Ch Pastor Chuck and I are going to be uh, uploading these little uh, words of encouragement, short devotions every day um, for probably till the, through the, to the end of the month. Um, still working out some of the kinks. <laughs> I would have done mine earlier. Um, <laughs> but evidently you have to have a working device so, my bad. <laughs> I hope you guys' uh, week has gone good. And uh, I, I hope you guys have, have an amazing weekend. Um, anybody who knows us knows that the church uh, does a lot of work with, um, with addicts and ex-addicts and that kind of stuff. Um, much of the uh, church staff has actually uh, come from that kind of a background. Um, and in that in that vein, uh, there's something that the um, that the AA groups uh, pray. It's called the Serenity Prayer, and it uh, it goes like this. I have it pulled up here just to make sure that I don't read it wrong because I do that. Uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Uh, that that prayer has become so meaningful uh, for me, um, not just through my own struggles. Uh, but also in life in general. And uh, y y there's a lot of things that we kind of get the idea that it's it's for drug addicts, you know, but um, it can really profit, um, it can really profit uh, all of us. And I think the Serenity Prayer is, is a perfect example of that. Um, Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can. Um, but we oftentimes confuse those things. <laughs> See, um, things that we can't change, we worry about it, and we keep trying to stick our fingers in it, and we keep trying to fix it, and it's something that we can't change. And uh, oftentimes we, we make this, uh, molehills really, the, the major issues. Um, so that the first part of that prayer kind of talks about that serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Uh, but then the second part, we, we confuse that too. It says the courage to change the things I can. Sometimes it's something that we could fix or we could change and we just simply don't. Uh, maybe it's because of fear or maybe it's because of, you know, whatever. And in this prayer, we have that nice little balance between the two things. Um, but I want to go a little bit a little bit, step, a little bit past that. The, the second part says courage to change the things I can. Um, that kind of brings up a question, and, and, and that's something that I um, that I weigh in myself. Is this what should I change? Because sometimes, sometimes we think just because we can do something that we should do something, but that's not necessarily the best course of action. And uh, so, with that second part of the prayer, courage to change the things I can. Um, I I ask myself often, what should I change? You know, sometimes I think along the lines of this. Well, I tried to help this person; it didn't work out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna stop being a doormat. I'm gonna put my foot down, and um, you know, I'm gonna, you know, uh, stand up for myself or whatever. And then this leads me to be short-tempered. It leads me to start ignoring people and stop investing in other people's lives, and kind of just be self-centered and focused on me. So that really could have changed. And maybe even I had the courage to change it, but I probably shouldn't have changed it because it, it caused me to become uh, a less loving person. And in turn, my life has now become more about me. And uh, there's always that, that danger. But then another thing, um, going back to the first part of the prayer, so God grant me this, for need to accept the things I cannot change. Um, I, I find that there's a lot of things that we just refuse to let go of. Um, I, I lost my second son um, last year, and it was very difficult. Um, but one of the things I had to learn how to do was to let go of him. Sometimes we don't want to let go because maybe it hurts, or we're afraid that if we don't remember them, no one will, or, um, you know, whatever. And and the thing about it is, is... It, in life, not just for those of us who struggle with addictions, but us in general, uh, we have to learn how to how to just let things go. And I think that the serenity prayer is just a perfect balance of that. So I'll read it one more time and then we'll be done for today. Uh, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. 
Um, I hope this has been encouraging for you, and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Chuck will um, will have a, um, a short word of encouragement for you guys, so have a great weekend.